your digital cameras are going to take photos of all kinds of different sizes. And when you want to share these pictures, you want to send them via email or printing them. You can use your photo management programs with usually just one button press and it'll resize them. But you don't really know what it's doing with the photos. We're going to take a look at Photoshop as a photo editing software to see how these controls actually work and how we can control them ourselves. So here we are starting in Bridge, and I'm going to open up this photo for print. Now if I wanted to print this photo, I could just hit, go ahead and hit Command P, and it'll show me how big it's going to print the photo on the page. The thing is, I don't know what quality this print is going to be. So I'm going to hit Cancel and go back, and we're going to take a look at the image size. We're going to go site Image, go to Image Size, and we'll be able to take a look at the particulars of the image. We can see the pixel dimensions. We can also see the document size. We're going to focus right here. For printing photos, the resolution for the highest print should really be around 300. So if I turn on my scale styles, my constrained portion, but turn off my resample image, all of these will be locked together. If I wanted to shoot or print this photo at the best image quality, if I put the resolution at 300, we can see the image size is considerably smaller, about 3 by 4. We can't really increase the image size to get a better photo, so it's usually better to leave your photo at its lower resolution to print at the size you want. But if you want it specifically to fit, say, a 4x6 frame, you want to make sure that your scale styles are uh, constrained portions are clicked, and we could specifically set that to 6x4, and here we can see we'd have to crop a little bit. If we want to set our picture for email, we need to change the resolution of the picture and lower it. This is one of the reasons sometimes you get email photos that are so large. So if I set this to 72, which is the resolution for most screens, now my picture will show up as exactly 6 by 4 and a quarter inches inside of my email. You'd say OK, and it'll resize that. Remember, you always want to save as all of your images that you're resizing so you never lose your original image quality.